Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's October the 19th, 2022, and today we're talking a little bit about new stamps, old stamps, Canada Post. Um, yeah, there was a new stamp that was issued this week, or a new series of stamps that was issued this week, and it was a continuations of Canadians in Flight. So there are five new stamps. Let me show you the booklet. You can see the five stamps here and how they repeat. Let me tell you a bit about the stamps here. So it says, the sky is the limit. This is the second edition of the Canadians in Flight series, celebrating the people, planes, and technologies that have allowed Canada's reputation for innovation to soar. So we get Violet Milestead, one of Canada's first female bush pilots, also ferried military aircraft in Britain during the Second World War. We've got the de Havilland, Canada, the DH2 DHC2 Beaver is considered the best bush plane ever built. Thanks to Canada, CAE Incorporated and its founder, aviator Kenneth Patrick, most airline pilots around the world receive their training in Canadian-made flight simulators. Pioneering uh, astronautical engineer Wallace Rupert Turnbull developed the variable pitch propeller, which greatly improved the aircraft performance. And finally, the G-suit invented by Wilbur Rounding Franks prevents pilots from losing consciousness during high gravitational force maneuvers. There you go. I'm learning something too. I didn't know the G-suit was in invented by a Canadian. And uh, I have heard of the bush plane that uh, they talk about, de Havilland. And uh, the uh, female bush pilot is new to me too. So learning new historical things um through postage stamps is fantastic and what i want to do is get back into my father's stamp collection we're going to go back into this album here the last time if you watched the video i stopped in 1996 i've been going systematically from the very first canadian stamp up to present and we're now in 1997 uh, as far as the stamps that i'm going to show you so i'm going to turn the camera on the stamp book and we're going to go through the stamps the very first stamp issued in 1997 was the Chinese New Year stamp, Year of the Ox. And then it gets into the bird series. We've seen some of the other birds that have come through the years as well. So these four stamps were issued. There you can see there was a sheet issued with the two Year of the Ox stamps. And then we're getting into the 90 cent Canada art series stamps. Canadian Tire got a stamp for the 75th anniversary. If you're not sure what Canadian Tire is, it's a department store here that sells more than tires. You can go get blenders in there. You can get hunting gear. Um, you can get uh, potato chips if you want. It's kind of a department store, but it starts with tires. You can see a couple of the other stamps that came out. The Blue Poppy of Quebec. Ocean water fish from great white sharks to bluefin tuna, the Atlantic sturgeon. Gilles Villeneuve stamps representing his racing career. Confederation Bridge, that's the bridge that links Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick together. It made it into a stamp. You can see how the stamp crosses over between uh, two individual stamps to make a whole. And then here are these Gilles Villeneuve stamps again. John Cabot. Scenic Highways, Cabot Trail in Nova Scotia. Absolutely stunning. If you get a chance to go to the Cabot Trail, it is well worth it. The wine route in Ontario. I mean, all of these routes are going to be uh, fantastic for something or other. Sea to Sky Highway. Love going up there to Whistler in British Columbia. The Big Muddy in Saskatchewan. Got some industrial design stamps. Highland Games. Went to the Highland Games this summer. If you saw that video here in town, Knights of Columbus got a stamp in 1997. The C 
series of the century. Prominent Canadians. You can see this stamp has covered part of the names. But there my father has put in the $2. He's kind of fit these ones in, even though this isn't the proper place for them. I'm not sure why he's put them in on that page, but he has. Here we have Vampires. The Supernatural series, werewolves, goblins, ghosts. Very appropriate as Halloween is coming up. The Royal Agricultural Winter Fair stamp in Toronto. These are some Christmas issue stamps. Christmas issues. And these are similar to what we just saw, but just with slight variations. The Edible Berry series, we've seen those, the small number series. And then here we have 1998, the year of the tiger. And then more continuation of the bird series. The Eastern Screech Owl, Great Crested Flycatcher. can see once again the double of the year of the tiger what well, premiers of canadian provinces and when they were premier so in the background you can see the flag so this is quebec and ontario here we got uh local of new brunswick here and so on and so forth Fishing flies. How, uh, very typically Canadian, this, this particular series of stamps is. I love the stories that Canadian postage seems to tell. I'm sure postage around the world does, but I'm specifically looking at Canadian postage here. One of the stories that I hope that Canada Post will one day tell is the story of post crossing. So I'm hoping a post crossing stamp will come out eventually and then join the ranks of one of these books. These sumo wrestling stamps are beautiful. A combination of the Canadian Maple Leaf and the Rising Sun. Here we have some famous bridges around Canada. Or canals, I guess. And the RCMP stamps. Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Some more scenic highways. We saw that in 1997. They continued in 1998. And the commemorative sheet for the RCMP. Here we're starting to get into self-adhesive stamps. So we're starting to get away from licking the back of the stamps and uh, getting into booklets. Housing in Canada, you can see different houses and where we've come from heritage to indigenous. How about legendary Canadians? Another sh a series of stamps showing history. have a booklet of these clown stamps um, that I got at a meetup this year 
And so I've been putting them out on some of my cards this year. These ones are almost 20 years old. And we're getting back into the higher value stamps, the one and two dollar ones. Ones primarily you would see on parcels. We've got some warships. Christmas issues, more Christmas issues, and then the plain Canadian flag ones, the different variations you can find on that. You can see postage has gone up a cent now, we're into 46 cents for postage. Here in 1999, the year of the rabbit. A continuation of the birds of Canada. Some theater and museum stamps. Marco Polo. Combination of the two for Marco Polo. Souvenir sheet. Different sports using horses. More scenic highways. Territory of none of it in 1999. Different orchids, if you're a flower collector or a, a botanist, these might appeal to you. And here, once again, you can see the, the different sports with horses, the new art stamp. You've got a series of Canadian stamps that you guys have enjoyed so far seeing, which ones have been continuing. Is it the sports? Are they the yearly Christmas stamps? Maybe it's uh, historical figures or places along the way. Here we've got aviation. This is the Air Force stamps, different planes used. number of stamps for those. This is another continuing series. Air show stamps, they're a lot larger than normal stamp size stamps. Victorian Angels, we're going back into Christmas again. How about this one here where you've got a triangle stamp? A variety of different shapes. The Millennium Keepsakes. So here you've got the 1999 holographic one that goes into 2000. Really like this one. This is one of my favorites. This one here, this would be a nice one to add to the collection. This is kind of the souvenir sheet of that. It was a big deal when 1999 was changing into 2000 and everybody thought that the world was gonna to come to an end because computers wouldn't be able to uh, comprehend switching over to 2000. I remember when I was working uh, in Vancouver at the time, I had to come in on January 1st just to make sure that the mill was still running, that everything hadn't come to a screeching halt. And the calendar switched over. 
The only thing I remember coming to a screeching halt that morning was the muffler fell off my car. <laughs> And I actually just left it where it was because uh, it was hot and I had to get to my place. And it was still there when I came back, so I was able to pick it back up again. There's a lot of stamps that were issued right there as the Millennium Collection. I was a stamp collector. Good year for collecting stamps. There's lots of new issues. Terry Fox up there. I think that's down Pontiac Warrior Peacemaker. Really big size stamps. Wouldn't be easy on postcards putting these stamps because they would fill up a postcard quite a bit. Especially if you were trying to put three of them on going overseas from here. It seemed like in this Millennium Collection, they just celebrate everything. People, places, it wasn't just a, uh, a theme. Something coming out, it was just something was coming out all the time for every theme. I look back at the past years, Kane's family. the beautiful New Year's stamps. A little sheet. Wayne Gretzky, the great one, got a, a stamp that year. He retired in 1999, so here you have some of the greatest hockey players. get back into the continuation of the bird series again. But wow, what a year for collecting stamps. 2000 put out so many stamps. I really like this one here, the rural mailboxes. Have you ever seen mailboxes that look like this? Maybe like a little tractor? Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother, had a stamp in 2000. Water stamps, beautiful iceberg there, waterfalls, calm, peaceful rivers. I like how they're an image and an, a second image all in the same stamp. So you kind of have a far away and a close up. Here you've got children's view of what is to come. Tall ships when they came to Halifax. Whales. Renee Lewis may enjoy these stamps. And here we've got Christmas. 
2000. Which is drawing us to a close on this book. And taking us now into the new millennium. Nice fox stamp. Caroline might enjoy. As we turn the page, here you can see uh, greeting stamps. So you could have your own image put inside of these. Well, there you have it. We've gone all the way from the very first Canadian stamp to going into the year 2000. We're 22 years away from being where we are right now, but we've come a long way. Hopefully you're enjoying the trip down memory lane from old Canadian stamps, throwing in the occasional new Canadian stamp in videos you kind of have to watch because uh, when a new release comes, I just bring it out. So it could be during a post-crossing video, it could be in a, a haul video or a, one of these stamp videos. I try to mix them up a little bit. You can see I'm in my, one of my Canada Post shirts right now. Uh, left over from my working day. Yeah, so I want to thank Canada Post for all the great stamps through the years. Uh, we're going to continue going through this, get into 2001 and get into the, the present with uh, what's coming out now. But uh, it was nice so far to, to recap. You know, we've gone through 120 odd years of stamps that have come out. 130 odd years actually at this point so thanks i don't know if you're watching canada post but if you are we got to get on this post crossing stamp um, it's going to be something that i'm going to keep promoting uh, we need to have it many countries already have one uh, we've got over 10,000 members that do post crossing right now and uh, we deserve a stamp we've sent out over a million postcards it's to our benefit as Canada Post employees, to Canada Post as a corporation, to put these stamps out, uh, have them for stamp collectors, have them for post crossers who are enjoying the hobby, and uh, have them to increase mail volumes, which is what they will do. So it's a win-win-win. We need a post crossing stamp. So if you're watching, it's time to get one going. Uh, if you need ideas for it, I'll even start working on something. But I know there are many more talented people, many more artistic people that will come up with great ideas and selections for it. Um, and you can even Google all the other countries that have put them out, including Germany, which put out their first one this year. So uh, thank you to Germany for stepping up and uh, creating a post-crossing stamp. All right, that's it for now. That's all I've got for this video. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, you can pause on the certain steps that you want to see again and you can always leave your comments in there tell me which stamps you're enjoying seeing um, what parts of these videos you do enjoy what parts maybe you want to see a little differently i don't mind you can even send in a little criticism too uh, we're all about changing and learning and growing and uh, this channel's growing so i appreciate everyone who's been subscribing all right have a magical week what polo you say like subscribe share and tell all your friends with a good boy Who's a good boy?